Okay, we are ready to do a demonstration on how to lay this texture onto a sculpture. Now, I'm just going to use a, a, a texture, a board, uh, but uh, this can be used on any kind of surface that that this uh, epoxy putty will, will stick to. Now, I'm going to use uh, the uh, Polyjam 307 light with fire retardant because that's what I have. I'm going to use just enough to to uh, do the sample. So this this putty is kind of uh, pretty close to peanut butter. So a big dog for this purpose. Uh, for, with this material, it's a one to one uh, ratio. So I'm going to put in what what I what I feel is uh, the uh, the right amount. Pretty close, and then make, making sure that you mix it very, very well. And you see no, no striations in in the material. Once you've got it totally mixed up, you want to make sure you just pull it up with the with your mixer. Make sure that there's no striations. You can see that it's well mixed up, and then and this is this is going to be true for any material that you, any epoxy material that you use, you're going to want this, this, this to set up a little bit uh, before you use it because it's, it works a little better when it's a little thicker. Okay, that's been about 20 minutes, so we're going to uh, take it out of the material and then just... Now, I'm going to use this board. Um, it's easier just to do it laying down. This, this material will hang on a vertical surface, a curved surface, whatever. Uh, but the best a way that I've found to get it on there is just take a, take a, uh, a putty knife and just spread it on. It spreads pretty much like peanut butter. Uh, you want to get it on the, on the surface and for the most part you want to get it even an even coat. Now this material is great because you can while you're putting on the texture you can uh, fold in wrinkles and uh, skin folds uh, and that sort of thing uh, depending on what what you want and how detailed you want your texture to be I'm just going to uh, and that is something that you'll just have to uh, experiment with and and tell you get used to the material that you're, you're using and once again it just totally depends on what uh, what you're using this for, uh, for trees and that sort of thing, it's great because you can, once you've got the surface, I mean, you can use a straight surface and then use this to break, to sculpt up uh, little, little stumps, little knots, that sort of thing, uh, very easily. Uh, here, we're doing uh, dinosaur skin, so uh, if I would do something like that, it would be to add in a fold or, or that sort of thing. So, I'm gonna get this laid out fairly straight and somewhat flat it doesn't it doesn't have to be uh, you know completely flat so once again uh, it doesn't have to be completely flat just just overall basically the the same uh, thickness if you will, uh, if you if you want would want to build up a, a wrinkle or something, you you can do that in just in uh, roughly. So once once you have the material laid out on your piece, you don't have to be in a hurry. You've got lots of time. It takes you know an hour or more for this to set up to the point where it's harder to put the texture down. But in the beginning. It's 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 very easy to do. Now you want what you want to do is take your texture stamp and make sure. Th what I'm using is a thickening agent uh, made by Polyjam. You can use talcum powder. You could use plaster. You, any kind of powder will work. Uh, this is made for this epoxy, so that's why I'm using it. You want to take. This is a makeup brush for powdering powdering for makeup. I like it because it holds a lot of the powder. Um, 
I, if I had a bigger one, I would use that, but this is what I've got on hand. Uh, but it's, if you're doing this kind of work, it's well worth buying one of these. They're not that expensive, and you can use, use it to lay on the, the uh, powder on both sides of your material. So I just dip that into the material and powder, powder very good. Make sure that you've got lots of powder on it. Do the same thing with 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 the uh, with your piece. We'll get a lot of powder on it, and then brush brush most of it off. And then I'm just gonna lay it lay it on lay it on the piece and press the texture into it. Now, once again, if you want to build up some wrinkles and that sort of thing, you would put a thicker layer on and just press this in, you know, press pressing these wrinkles up like so. But this is something you're going to have to experiment with on your own. This is just to get the basic technique down of how to lay this texture off. And then you just pull it off. Now, in this instance, I, I should have probably, if you can see, some of this is pulling up. This is not, this is not necessarily bad, but um, this is why you want to make sure you have plenty of powder over your, over your piece, is so that the texture stamp does not pick up any of the, any of the material, and it's just laying a, uh, an impression in, into the material. All right, so we're going to do this uh, again, overlapping. Once again, we don't want to make a hard line where it overlaps or, or, or ends. And we, once again, we have, we have the uh, material picking up, but that's not necessarily bad. You know, you can go back over it to push that back down if you want to. If you find a place that you didn't quite get the texture the way you like it, then you can lay, your, lay the texture back down on it, just in that area, push it in. You can do this more than once, particularly this kind of texture, to make sure you've got what you want. This kind of texture, a few extra lines, is not going to make any difference. Uh, so I'm just showing you that you want to overlap, you want to turn your, your texture stamp around, use other te texture stamps so you don't get any kind of uh, repeating pattern over your piece. Always powdering again, make sure that try not to try not to get the uh, material to pick up on your on your stamp. Once again, this is something you're just gonna have to practice. And absolutely do this kind of practice, laying your material down and the texture stamp that you're using on an old board and practice to figure out what your texture stamps will do and what they won't do and get, get your technique down before you put it on your actual piece. So, at this point, I'm just let this dry. It will harden up in three or four hours. Um, if you, once it does that, if you want to go back over it with some more, you can do that. You can, you can sand it a little bit. You can grind on it a little bit. Uh, this is very forgiving material and your texture will uh, lay in your texture on, your sculpture will go very quickly.